hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is renee if you're new thanks for stopping by today's video is going to be a plan with me for may i am so stoked because may lands on a sunday which means we're going to start off the month well i'm going to start off the month cleaning my house watching church starting a new fresh week it's gonna be so great the best one though is like when it starts on a monday that's like when it's like oh i love fresh beginnings and fresh starts so i'm excited i am going to do five things i feel like everyone should do before the start of any month first thing is to create a fresh start so just like any sort of decluttering the next step is going to be a reflection step kind of just reflecting on your past month third step is any sort of goal setting for the new month. Number four is tracking and managing your budget. And then the fifth thing is intention setting and the seven dimensions of wellness, which we'll explain a little bit in a second. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the decluttering section. I personally am the kind of person that needs to like have a fresh space before I even plan. I need to like brain dump everything that's on my mind. I need to like digitally declutter. I cleaned my entire house, so that's already done. Um, so I'm gonna go through and kind of just like organize all the stuff that's on my digital stuff so i'm gonna go through like my emails i have a whole bunch of just notes and notepads and post-it notes everywhere of just things that i was kind of like you know i'm just kind of like taking everything and just organizing it like i said decluttering your home my music was a big one which ones i want to keep add some new music like i said digital declutter so i'm going to do that real quick let's just like clean this so we can start planning in a good headspace <laughs> decluttered i feel nice and fresh physically digitally emotionally because i just reflected as well so we're on task number two and that's reflecting on your month first of all the question is what were your biggest wins some of the biggest ones that i had is like getting back on my work grind self-improvement and just focusing on myself and then some of the biggest lessons that you've learned or insights that you've gained for me it's um saying yes to things more and kind of like expanding my normal like hermit tendencies and like kind of just saying yes and experiencing life a little bit differently taking opportunity and that kind of like correlates with the california trip it was like a very last minute trip it was a very different trip than i'm used to it was like an influencer slash work kind of event i had so much fun and i like had such amazing memories and letting go of things that no longer serve me and focusing on long-term happiness and not short-term gratification then what tasks were not accomplished and why um for me it's the catch-up of my work and i think the reason why is because i'm afraid of pushback from you guys so i've been taking a lot of breaks lately and i'm back on track honestly like i feel like back to my normal self and i'm enjoying working again and i'm getting creative and i'm happy every time i post a video like this video is going live the day after I film it and it's like I can't catch up and in New York I had like three videos ahead of schedule and it just like kind of eased a little bit of pressure on me um, to not rush the process so I think um, something I'm gonna do actually is not post the first week get caught up and that way I can feel like a little bit of release with my work now that I'm enjoying it again so I'm just afraid of the like people saying like, oh my gosh you're taking another break but I think I'm gonna do it I'm also gonna do a new uh, video schedule by the way I'm gonna be posting Sundays Mondays and Wednesdays now instead of Monday Wednesday Wednesday, Friday and I think Sunday is gonna be like feel good content Monday's gonna be a more like productive get stuff done kind of video and then Wednesday is gonna be like more for just entertainment purposes or just kind of like an escape um, I'm gonna go back on that I feel so good guys I'm like I'm like loving this again how do I feel about my progress I said amazing like I feel like this was a really good month I had an amazing month did you guys have a good month I hope so I really just focused on myself and I feel like everything in my life is now kind of like aligning perfectly to how it's supposed to be happening if that makes sense like before I was just so like I don't think I was happy I I think I was just like rushing through things and like resisting things and not focusing on myself at all. Focusing on instant gratification, not long-term happiness and things that are going to make me feel good overall instead of short-term. Anyway, um, and then the next one is I'm looking forward to, for me, it's like career expansion. I've been really focusing on reels. I'm part of this like program where they're testing out people getting paid for reels. So I've been really experimenting with that and having fun with that. And then it says things that I will do to make myself happy next month. I said focusing on my career goals and change. So I actually 
Facebook with someone recently and I think this has been happening since honestly like the ending of 2020 to now I think like the whole online world is shifting and that's correlated directly to my job especially like the online social world and instead of like getting angry about how it's changing or trying to go back to how it was and getting frustrated that I'm not getting the same viewership from that and like wanting it to go back like instead of resisting that again it's just like you kind of have to go with the flow like life changes and you just learn from it just go with it and I have been doing that and like trying new things and like I said even just the reels and I'm actually really thoroughly enjoying it it's really fun and it's you know YouTube is changing and shifting but I feel like instead of like I said going back to what my norm is and getting frustrated with that I'm kind of just going with it and testing out different things and it's like I feel like I'm learning a whole new like system which is scary but it's also really fun when i looked at it in a different perspective i just hated it and it was like driving me crazy and i was getting angry and just not going with it so anyway yeah i really need to focus on my meals you guys i just snack so much i just need to really focus on like breakfast lunch and dinner and then saying yes more like being more spontaneous and just like i said doing things out of my comfort zone i'm curious to know what i did in march for that one putting myself first be strong know your worth <laughs> spend time undistracted with loved ones i feel like i've been doing that too how will i improve next month i said strategic with my planning like i said with my meals and stuff be more like conscious of more like a strategic plan of like breakfast lunch and dinner instead of just grabbing protein bars and eating three of them a day i think getting back on track with my videos will help me schedule my videos a little bit better instead of just rushing them throwing a the next video out without like strategically planning what i'm posting um healthy habits i want to like get out more walk do that stuff and then slow down and enjoy again i've been like a little rushed and i feel like i want to like wake up and like take a walk and read at night and take my time editing and not feel pressured and rushed to like finish a video all in one day because i'm behind so those are my monthly that's like my monthly review what did i say in march put on hold what does that mean put on hold i don't know what that meant but cool that was a good little reflection okay i'm ready to start planning for this month Yay! so this is like looking at my calendar doing i said trackable goals not like intention goals but like actual outcome based performance based goals there's two areas that i want to focus on i want to focus on my health and i really do want to track because it makes it easier for me so this video is actually sponsored by my fitness pal i'm sure you guys have heard of that app before it's an amazing app i've used it before and basically it's an app where you can track your um fitness goals and stuff so i think this is really going to help me i'm so excited actually and this can be used for any types of goals that you have whether you want to like lose weight gain muscle i personally chose to modify my diet because i really want to focus on my diet and then for my diet specifically i want to focus on eating less sugar less dairy and then more vegetables specifically um and then more of like a i would say not vegan lifestyle but more plant-based i just tend to get a little heavy when i eat meat like i'll still eat meat but there, i just want to eat less of it um and then it like takes in all of your analytics and stuff whether how like however much you work out your age your height all that stuff your gender and it will create a personalized experience for you which is really cool and it's a really personalized approach especially if you get the premium membership which they're giving you guys a free month of if you click the link in my description box you can try it out first you don't have to pay for anything i would just try it um try it out for a month see if you like it i'll do it with you i'm gonna like vlog it too and the insights are based on your specific health goals which i like a lot there's tools and expert guidance from professionals like registered dietitians and stuff like that so you're getting you know quality advice they have a customized setting too for like your dashboard if you use the premium membership which I linked down below for you guys for free um, you can personalize your dashboard depending on your goals so like if you want to focus on tracking your macros you could do that you could do like even heart health which is really cool if you have like some health issues like your sodium levels cholesterol calories that you need to like manage and they also have diet plans they have specific workout exercises it's like nutritionist fitness coach and a trainer all in one it's a really cool really really cool app and then they also have like a community on here as well so you can add friends and all that stuff really cool app so yeah they're giving it to you guys for free it's a premium membership for free one month try it out if you like it keep going if you don't cancel it they're really confident in their product to give you guys this so a huge shout out to them for sponsoring today's video all right so now i'm gonna um focus on my goals for my work like i said i have a video planner i'll show you guys this is my video planner for 
my videos. Um, I have a video that I will pop on the screen if you guys want to see a template, like a step-by-step -step template of how I do this. Every year I kind of change up the like colors and like the font and all that stuff, but this is pretty much how I run my scheduling and my videos. As you can tell, in January and February and March, like my videos are all over the place. Like, and I typically, like if you go back to my, when I was balling and I had a video schedule, like I was very like, consistent with my videos monday wednesday friday monday wednesday friday so i've just been like all over the place this year so i really want to focus on going back to sunday monday wednesday videos so this is going to be my last video for this month which is so nice because once i start this month i'm going to take off this week and then start fresh there um i also have like certain ideas here that i put on the side of things that i want to put in my vlogs i'm going to kind of go through this really quickly and see some ideas that I have. I think my biggest thing is that I'm afraid to try new things because I don't know how they're gonna perform, but I used to like do this for fun guys and that was like the viral videos that went viral were the ones that I did differently. So I think I'm gonna just start throwing out videos that I personally creatively want to work with. And instead of being afraid that I'm gonna lose people or they're not gonna like it, like just throw it out because it's always that one video that you think it's not gonna do well and that ends up being like a really good video. And I want to kind of just get out of just vlogging. I think the trend right now is just vlogging, but I really wanna go back to having fun with it. And so I think having that schedule of Sunday's gonna be like more of a feel good content, Monday's gonna be productive, you know let's get stuff done motivating kind of content and then wednesday being a more entertainment video um it'll definitely get me to like expand a little bit more on the content that i'm producing and focusing on reels and stuff like that so i'm gonna go through this real quick and i'll show you guys what i end up with and i'm not gonna plan too much in advance but just somewhat of an idea of what videos i want to film because when i'm like organized like that it just makes it so much easier and having it oh my god i can't wait to be like fully back on track and like three videos ahead of schedule so that's the goal that's the goal let me work with it hold on Okay, it's all planned and I feel so good. So I'm definitely going to be taking a week off, um, not off, like a posting but i'm still working just to catch up but i have some vlog ideas that i put on here and then i also changed it to real ideas so i really want to work on my reels i think i'm going to be posting like maybe two or three um and i'm having fun with instagram too so maybe now that she's here you can be like my little photographer because i've literally only been posting like selfies and like mirror pictures but i want to get creative and like be like more i would say like inspiring content or just like fun creative content on instagram and i have a prediction about instagram when snapchat first came out, everyone kind of gravitated towards snapchat but then instagram added the instagram stories and then in snapchat is kind of like died down a little bit like i don't have a snapchat i know people who have, still have snapchats but it's not as big as like instagram stories because instagram we've had longer than snapchat so people don't want to like change platforms because they already have their following and they're used to the instagram app and so when they integrated into that it's like they'd rather just have a all in one app rather than all these other different apps easier to manage and maintain you have a history with that app so you not only know it but like i said you have a following and all that stuff and you know the algorithm a little bit more so when tiktok came out everyone kind of gravitated towards tiktok now they have reels which i think are going to be tiktoks because it's all in one and i know people who do tiktok whereas before they had a bigger success rate with tiktok they're having bigger success rates with reels so i'm just gonna focus on reels i've never been one for tiktok and i have all my sponsorships on here that i need to figure out and some plans and stuff that i have like appointments and all that stuff so i'm so excited to get back on track and what a perfect way to start the summer i feel like i'm starting on such a good foot this month what is next on our schedule guys let's see um tracking my budget so i actually track my budget with an app called mint i talk about this many times i had just recently sent out all my statements for this year so far to my accountant and i'm kind of like all on track with that i need to sit through though and kind of just group and categorize my budget on mint it's, a, it's the coolest app honestly it just makes it so easy you just connect it with your credit card and then you just take the transactions and categorize them and then we have the seven dimensions of wellness which is my personal favorite i have been using the seven dimensions of wellness for i can't even tell you guys when like the longest time ever basically the premise of the seven dimensions of wellness is that if you have all of these in check and all of them in balance you'll live a supreme life i'm gonna sit here put on my music and reflect a little bit and then we'll talk about it We 
got it all organized. So I'll share with you mine if you can share me your goals down below in the comment section. My physical goals, like I said, my health goals, I already told you guys, meals, reduce sugar, reduce gluten, dairy, focus on like eating properly. Um, and then my fitness is just the same thing. It's like movement every day, whether that's a walk or whatever. And I've been really listening to my body and I feel really good. So I don't really have much in terms of improvement on that, just more maintaining. Social stuff, expanding my social circle, saying yes more, meeting all different types of people from different walks of life, which is my favorite thing to do because it makes it so interesting. Emotional, doing things for me first. I tend to like do things according to other people. And I feel like I have, I let like other people kind of control my emotional state which doesn't work out and i just i need to do things for me first and then everyone else is kind of just like a bonus balance in my life and balancing especially my work social life taking time to slow down and yoga i feel like i just need to like kind of go inward a little bit more this month um to give me some sort of peace and then spiritual i really want to go to church or watch church and now that chase is here he's a very spiritual person so i think it would it's gonna help a lot tremendously intellectual reading more and learning something new and being open to learning a little bit more um environmental is getting out more taking more walks and out of the office so i really want to focus on i say this every time but i promise you guys i'm gonna do it this time it's getting out and like out of the office so like my office is here i'm at home a lot because i work from home for myself i don't really work with coworkers, so i think finding somewhere to like work outside of my office is something that i purposely don't do because i feel like i get distracted but i think it will be better for my mental health to do that at least once a week or something um occupational like i said i'm going to focus more on new content trying out reels and different things and focusing on creativity and enjoying the process a little bit more and having fun with it that concludes my little may reset slash plan with me i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up don't forget to check out fitness pal i love you guys so much and i'll see you in a future video bye oh yeah future video but like in a week later so i'll see you guys in like a week i love you guys bye